Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Sbase. This tech ref video will cover the at return function. The at return function is a function that you can use within a calc script or a business rule that will immediately end a particular calc script or business rule if certain logical conditions are met. And then the at return function will also provide a customized error message that you give for that specific criteria. You're going to use this with the if or the else if function to define those logical conditions, and you can't use it in member formulas. The syntax is at return, open parentheses, and then you put the error message in double quotes, comma, and then you define what type of message this is. Is this an informational message, an error message, or a warning message? Now let's see an example. In this particular use case, we have a Hyperion planning business rule that an end user runs to transfer budgeted dollars from project to project. There are certain rules that must be met or we don't want to allow this business rule to execute. So when the user enters in the budget transfer amount, it must be greater than zero. We also don't want to allow the budget transfer to take place if the amount that they're transferring is greater than the allocated budget that's coming from the source project. We also don't want to allow the transfer to occur if the allocated budget has already been spent. So what this looks like using the at return function is we have our fixed statement and there's some other surrounding logic, but this is the, the basic logic that we have. So we fix on our source project. We then do our first logical condition. So if the budget transfer amount that the end user is entering in their runtime prompt is less than zero, we want to return the message budget transfer amount must be greater than zero. The next condition is if the budget transfer amount is greater than what the allocated budget that exists for the source project, we want to return a message that says you don't have enough funds to be able to transfer this, this transfer amount from the source project. Now, one thing that's interesting is in the at return function, I can actually embed other functions like the concatenate function, and I can also pull in the, the source project. So this is a, a, a runtime prompt variable that the end user enters, so it actually tells them the, the project that doesn't have enough funds. The last criteria is if the budget transfer amount um, that is in allocated budget, if that's already been spent, so that's where we do our comparison and our subtraction against actuals, we want to make sure we have enough funds to be able to transfer, so we do this check. The next step would then be to return the error message. Allocated funds have already been spent. You don't have enough funds to transfer the budget for this particular CER. So that's under the covers in Calculation Manager using the at return function. What the end user sees is a little bit different. Now again, remember, if any of these conditions take place and a message is returned to the end user, it's recorded in the application log, the calculation stops. So then it doesn't actually perform the transfer, which is the next set of logic um, that's not displayed on the screen. So what the end user sees is they run their runtime prompt and they enter in their source project, their target project, the transfer amount. So here we're transferring budget from 401-09-479 and we're going to transfer $10,000. The end user clicks launch. However, if there's not enough funds to be able to do the transfer, we get the customized error message. The last thing that I wanted to show you is that this information is also recorded in the SBASE application log. And we can see that the message is recorded along with the transaction aborted. This is the at return function. Thank you.